welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial inspired by summer and this look. I love how it came out and it kind of was just like off the top of my head and I was like I gotta do a summer look because summer is approaching so fast and I know a lot of you guys want to do summer look so I hope you guys enjoy and be sure to check out the description box for more information on my makeup if you didn't catch in the video what I used. I will have all information listed in the bottom bar so please check that out. If you guys have any comments, concerns, or requests please leave it below. And yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching. Thanks guys! To get this look started, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion and place this all over my lids, under my brows, and my lower lash line. I haven't used this in so long and I'm happy I've been using it now because I've been using my MAC Paint Pots for far too long. It's time to go back to the old stuff. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking my MAC Shadow in Brown Script on a fluffy crease brush. And this is going to be our transitional shade, so above and in the crease will do. And be sure to really blend this out. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia palette. This is the Artist palette. And I'm going to take that yellow shade right there called Fresh. And I'm going to blend and pack this halfway into my crease from the inner corner, halfway in. Blend and pack. Now I'm taking my MAC shadow in Aqua Diziac and the same thing. I'm going to blend and pack on the outer edge. We're going to blend it into the yellow because we want this to all like look seamless and not cut off. So you're just going to do the same thing you did with the yellow but on the outer edge instead. Now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending these colors together. Now I'm going to do my foundation and eyebrows off camera so I'll be right back. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back in with Fresh and pack that right back on so it's super pigmented. And I'm going to do the same thing with Aqua Diziac. Same exact thing, just blending and packing. Now I'm going to take that shade right there called Blue Velvet and I'm going to place this directly into my crease to add depth to the look. This is again from the Anastasia Artist Palette. And I'm going to take that black shade called Coal and place that right over the blue. And now we're just going to blend that out with our fluffy brush. See the smoke when the sun shines. Now I'm tracing Aquadisiac on the lower lash line. And here I'm just using my Kat Von D um, contouring palette, the shade and light palette. I have a full tutorial on this, so I will have it linked below for you guys. That's kind of why we're speeding through this because I already have a tutorial using it. And all products I use will be listed below, so be sure to check for that. Now I'm taking my Tarte Gel Liner and a liner brush and I'm going to place this directly onto my waterline. And on the lower lash line, no worries if it looks a little crazy, we're going to really blend it out. Right here, we're just going to drag that brush back and forth. This is just like a crease brush and it just helps to blend out the gel liner. And I'm just setting my face with Urban Decay's setting spray. Taking Max Nylon Eyeshadow, I'm going to use this to highlight under my brows. 
and on the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm taking my Givenchy powder, and this is just a translucent powder. I am obsessed with this stuff lately ever since I bought it. I just love it. It just makes me look so flawless, and I don't get oily or creasy throughout the day, and I just, ugh, I'm obsessed. But a little bit too much came out right here, as you guys can see. <laughs> so I'm just taking a powder brush and blending that out. Here I'm just taking my Bobby, Br yeah, Bobby Brown Brow Gel. Woo, tongue twister. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. And here I'm just popping some mascara onto my lower lash line as well as my upper lashes in preparation for falsies, of course. You know, we can't go out without false lashes, girls. <laughs> Taking my Velour lashes, and these, I forget the name, but I will have it in the description box below for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop these on. I have a tutorial on how to apply false lashes. Again, I will have that listed below if you're interested in seeing that. blending my real lash in with my false just lightly underneath. For the lips, I'm taking MAC's Prep and Prime and I'm going to place this all over my lips. I'm going to give you guys two different lip looks and you guys can go with whatever suits you the best. I was stuck between the two so I had to show you both. <laughs> this is more orange from MAC and this is what I actually ended up wearing with this look just because I think personally it went better. But if it's a little too bold for you guys, completely understandable, but I love this shade. And I literally only wear it in the spring and summer because I feel like in the winter it's just too much. But I love it. It's so pretty. That is what more orange looks like. It's just so pretty. And I think it went so well with this look. Next lip color is called Max Ablaze, and this is more of your coral pink color. It's still really pretty, but I personally went with more orange because I liked it better. And um, more orange is more glossy finish, and uh, Ablaze is more of a drying finish, so keep that in mind as well. So this is Ablaze. Again, it is pretty, but personally, I went with more orange because I wanted to have an orange lip. So. That completes this look guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a comment below telling me which lip color you like the best and until next time I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!